third time's the charm and getting the thumbnail right. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out when you do the re <laughs> when you do the fast running thing like that, it makes a big blur motion on the thumbnail. And then the second time, I just simply wasn't ready. <laughs> so he had one of these. Oh. <laughs> Man, it's so cold outside that one, it makes it appropriate that we're seeing downhill later on, and also it may made me wish we were reviewing this from one of the lava levels from Sonic the from the Sonic the Hedgehog games. Well, Sonic the Hedgehog is finally out. It was supposed to be out last November, I believe, and pushed back to uh, it, it make uh, the, the effects work and the character design better. Dear Hollywood, um, I did not like the way Sonic looked. Please It was redo. pretty bad. Like, <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the design, that design they had in the first trailer and everything, there was a point where I was sort of... Because this movie really did kind of have an uphill battle <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> up, until, up until its release because there were a lot of aspects where I was kind of sticking up for it a little bit yeah. when, like, a teaser poster would come out mm -hmm. or the poster in and of itself and, and some other images, and there would be such rage about it, and I'd kind of be like, guys, give it a chance. Yeah. <laughs> like, relax, let's relax. wait and see. <laughs> then the trailer came out, and I was kind of like, yeah, that design's looking a little smurfish. <laughs> I don't know about that. But kudos to them for recognizing that criticism and actually yeah and actually updating it and yeah. making them look right, right. And, yeah. and making them look good and, look, and appropriate to, good. The, to, to the character and in place of that in theaters was because uh, they bumped this back to uh Valentine's Day, which really is where a video game movie belongs anyway, <laughs> to be released on Valentine's honey, Day. Honey, honey, we're yeah. gonna go see Sonic, <laughs> but I want to see the Notebook. That's why. That's why. That's why Laura is at home and you and I are. Here's okay. Here's what I love about a movie like this being in theaters. One that is, uh, it's very '90s. It's based on a '90s property. Yeah. The cat, the plot, and the casting certainly very much of that decade so when we're in there see oh. so when we're in there watching this movie it was a theater full of people our age who look just like <laughs> us <laughs> sure did <laughs> they, they, they did they there was sure not did. a single child nope. in, that, in that theater nope. Nope. A bunch of a bunch of people in their thirties going to see a kids movie. <laughs> yep. Seeing Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, yeah. So but in place of Sonic the Hedgehog last November was uh playing with fire. <laughs> which looked wildly unfinished. <laughs> that one it's sort of like that one is more like there's no passion put in that movie. Clearly they don't have give a shit releasing that thing freaking unfinished. Mm -hmm. This you can tell they worked their asses off to get they this really out did. there. They really did. And in watching the movie, um, of course, it uh, started out with a scene from later on in the oh, movie. Oh, God. And, and I, I did. I looked at you like, We seriously? both looked at each other. It starts out with an action sequence that's in the climax. Seriously? And wait. Let's start from the beginning. Ah, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Just so. I was like, okay. On the one hand, I'm like, it's not as lazy as like. Don't get me wrong, I, I, I hate that cliche and I wish they hadn't have done it. But it wasn't quite as lazy as the rhythm section where True. it was just a scene and a title card. Yeah. This was like, all right, well, there was narration thrown in there. Yeah. It does come back into play later on through the narration. Uh -huh. But let's be honest, it was just so you can have Jim Carrey in there in the first second of right. the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Carrey was amazing in this. He was mm -hmm. he was just so much fun. Uh, he there were there were moments where uh, he kind of he kind of got scary uh, from uh, for a moment, but uh, there was also a lot of good laughs in him. Uh, He's to him. this movie what you and McGregor was to Birds of Prey. Yeah, like, he Jim Carrey's having the time of his life. He in this really movie. is. Uh, he, Jim Carrey's having a very good time, and. If you've got a lot of love for Sonic, of course you're gonna go. You're gonna go see this movie. And also, if you are really nostalgic for that Jim Carrey, because this is a throwback yeah. to a lot of his earlier work. There's a lot of uh, there is a lot of Edward Nigma in the in his role in this movie. Um, there's a little bit of the Cable Guy in there. Um, yeah. It is a nice, but I mean he's. And I don't mean that in a bad way at all. I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. I, but I it guess, is a nice throwback to 
I if guess, you want classic Jim Carrey, it's there. I guess I just don't want uh, people to uh, to put him in a box like that because he is a very diverse actor. Like oh, absolutely, he, he um, is. But this isn't. But this movie is not intended to. His role in this movie isn't intended to be like the Truman Show or something like no. Man on the Moon or The Majestic or one of his more serious roles. This movie, his performance in this movie, like the movie itself is writing on nostalgia, sure. whether it's the video game property I, or this kind of Jim Carrey role. Let, let's just say this. Whenever you pointed out the 90s cast, I I did not consider that until you until yeah. you said something. And I'm like, I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess it is kind of nostalgic, <laughs> but I, I Sonic guess, the Hedgehog movie? Well, yeah, I, I mean, is. no, I mean... <laughs> I don't. I mean, there's that. that there's that yeah. aspect of nostalgia, like sure. subtle, the yeah. subtle aspect in there, and I just and I just never, I just didn't catch that. I yeah, huh? Yeah, there. Even I'll touch upon this uh, later on, uh, but uh, where the movie because it has that thing at the opening where it's a scene from later on, and then it jumps back uh, uh, earlier in time to kind of set things up, and the movie honestly kind of won me over pretty early on. So you yeah. see, so you start out on Stunt on Sonic's planet with this owl who's like his sage and trainer and everything where that really took off for me was that this, it starts out with Sonic escaping his planet as a kid and going to earth and these villains show up and when the owl is flying away with Sonic, that owl, like, takes an arrow through the chest. And Sonic goes through the ring and into Earth while he's running to try to save this owl who the, the ring closes. And mm -hmm. forgive me if this is a th if these characters are throwbacks to other games. Some, They're not, actually. The, the and owl, and, I, I and when know. you get done, I'll, I'm going to talk about but, it. As, like, these villains are closing in, and this character's dead. This character, like, dies, and this ring closes, and Sonic yeah. jumps on it, disappears, and he's stuck on Earth. That shows that this movie has stakes. Right. Like, characters can die in this thing. Right, like, right, I, yeah. was, I was like, wow, you actually really set this up pretty mm -hmm. well. And then it jumps ahead ten years. What I liked about that is that you see a lot of movies like this where a character like Sonic the Hedgehog can jump into the real world or Earth or whatever and it suddenly becomes a fish out of water story. Yeah. This movie doesn't do that. This movie jumps ahead in 10 years where he is already used to living on this planet. Yeah. He knows what everything is. Mm -hmm. He knows pop culture references. Mm -hmm. He uh, he knows how, to an extent, he knows yeah. how society works. And... I like that because there's really not nothing in the movie in the way of like a oh, Big Mac. What's that? Like yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, it, it doesn't really kind of. <laughs> Although he discovers chili dogs. Oh, he has a chili. Yeah, <laughs> there's some things about the movie that don't work. Believe me, but I uh, that kind of leads up to one of them. But but the the crux of it though, um, I like that it that Sonic is kind of a Sasquatch story in this where yeah. he's this boggy creek kind of monster that mm -hmm. lives in the woods and like there's the crazy old man who thinks he's seen him and is yeah. like this bigfoot hunter looking for for sonic the hedgehog yeah um the movie overall i actually thought was a nice surprise yeah i didn't think this was a bad movie at all i actually thought it really really worked yeah um the where it works is that it's I've seen a lot of movies like this. If you take, if you take this plot or, or Sonic, you're making an adaptation of Sonic the Hedgehog, and you kind of run it through a plot generator, you'll probably come up with something like this. Because there are a lot of things like this, whether it's whether it's like something based on a video game property or a cartoon yeah. property or something else, where it's whether you're talking or in this about, case both. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, totally. Um, where it's the character who ends up in the real world and it's a road trip movie. Yeah. There's a lot of things like that going back to like Looney Tunes back in action mm -hmm. or hop or the Smurfs movies mm -hmm. or the road chip. It's, it's a very common thing with this kind of movie because yeah. it definitely saves on budget. 
you know, having the character in the real world and, hey, you know, we'll make it a road trip movie. Yeah. So it's not exactly original in terms of its in terms of its plot. Exactly. But it does have a tremendous amount of heart to it. Yeah, 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 um, I'll agree. The characters are very genuine with each other. And there are times when Sonic kind of gets his ass handed to him and is knocked out and unconscious and they think he's dead. I like that he takes a beating in this film. <laughs> Not that I dislike the character. I don't. I like the character a lot. I think there's a lot of sweet stuff in this movie. I just like that even in a kid's movie, it's not like this movie gets super dark, but it does give it stakes. Yeah, yeah. Um, what did you think of of all of it? Uh, okay, well, <laughs> how many of those have you had now? <laughs> I did just watch a Sonic the Hedgehog movie, so you got the Mountain Dew there, plus so much cocaine. You okay. think it would be speed, but that's old news. I'll save that for the Fresh Prince of Bel Air movie. Um, so, <laughs> so, um. This is, uh, I, I took this as a, a new retelling of Sonic's, uh, origins, yeah. which, uh, which for me, this is now my third Sonic origin story. You know, if, mm. if you count comic books, uh, cartoons and, uh, uh, remember the Disney magazine? Oh yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. There was, <clears throat> there was also a, a Sonic origin story in one of those. Um, yeah. so, so I, uh. Um, so yeah, this is, this was to me, uh, a retelling of Sonic, uh, Sonic's origins, um, you know, with the, with the owl and everything. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was, a, a, I thought it was an ambitious retelling. <clears throat> um, mm -hmm. I, I, I really did. I love this. Uh, I like this, um, I wouldn't say loved, but I did. I didn't love it, but yeah. I did have a good time. Yeah, yeah, me too. Me and too. You, could, you could honestly think of it as an adaptation of Sonic 06, where Sonic is like mingling around with humans. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah, it's yeah. like one of the worst Sonic <laughs> games. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. I, but now I after do. after seeing this movie, yeah. you kind of want to go back and uh, play Sonic 06. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe. I mean, maybe that was kind of a stretch, but, you know, I just thought, you know. <laughs> no, maybe? Okay. Not really. Right. That game. <laughs> <laughs> Watch some clips, maybe, or something like that. Um, no, nah, uh, I, I love Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, uh, yeah, me I too. do. I mean, I'm primarily a. I mean, I mean, I'm a Mario guy. Like Mario is my favorite. Oh, I'm not wearing this to be. A, <laughs> I'm really not wearing this to be a smart ass. I'm not. I just happen to be. I, I really just happen to be wearing this today. Um, he's like, like I'm not like the asshole who shows up in a Marvel movie wearing a DC shirt. <laughs> Or, or something like that. I'm gonna do, like, now I'm going to do that. Now I'm just going to yeah. like find a find a Superman shirt and go to the next go to, Marvel. Go to the next Marvel movie. <laughs> Jackass, get out. <laughs> um, no, but I go back a lot to play. I mean, it was it was like an event when for us at home when the Genesis came out because we yeah. got it when it first. Ooh, we got it and the it opening came out. and the opening for it. They oh actually, yeah, did the whole like yeah. Uh, yeah. And there's a piano yeah. cover of uh, of the theme. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there was really good. It plays yeah. later on in the movie. It was yeah, a really, yeah, yeah. It was a really um, good cover. It was great because in the middle uh, or at the beginning. It, it it almost made you think there was going to be more movies about Sega intellectual oh, properties. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> The movie does sequel bait at the end. I won't say what it is, yeah, but yeah, yeah. stay during the credits. Um, you'll probably guess what it's going to be, but I, I did. Um, oh, but, I got a super chat. Oh, uh, I'll get I'll get to that in a second. Oh, okay. speaking of, I'll have to read some from uh, last week that I missed. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, no, um, I go. Did you have a favorite? And what what were some that you would go back and play? more than others in terms of the Sonic game. Um, there are a lot of bad Sonic games. You know, there's, honestly... There's some great ones. Honestly, the first three were my favorites, and Sonic Spinball. I love Spinball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spinball's great. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love, After Spinball, I kind of fell off. Sonic and Knuckles, I like a lot. Yeah? But yeah, so it, of the first three, two was the one I played the most. Spinball, I played a lot. Sonic and Knuckles, I would play a lot. They, they did this, like, um... They actually did this like game genie kind of thing where it was like knuckles. Uh, it was a knuckles cartridge. That's that what you just went through. The... That's what Sonic and Knuckles. Oh, oh okay, was, okay, you, okay. So you stuck it and you could play Knuckles through Sonic two and three. What I liked about that, this was one of my favorite things to do, was what if you if you put the first game 
on top of it. It was like endless levels of the 3D globe sphere oh, world. I would spend hours doing that. Yeah. that I, I played quite a bit, just putting the first Sonic game on top of... Uh, <clears throat> and you could do that with other games too, but it would sometimes just be one or two levels. Mm -hmm. um, Sonic CD I thought was really underrated. Uh, Sonic Mania I liked a lot. Uh, that was just a couple of years ago that came out, and it was a throwback to the older games. That was a lot of fun. Um, no, but this... I mean, there's things about the movie that don't work like i mean it's it's not uh as i've said it's it's not a terribly original film it's kind of you've yeah. seen a lot of movies that do things like this that are based on existing properties it just does it way better than a lot of those other movies do i want to address the very stiff um the very stiff uh it, inner um uh, um God, what's the word I'm looking Interaction? for? Interaction? <laughs> Interaction. Yeah. Between Tom and Sonic. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought they were fine. Really? Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know. I think movies like this uh, would have the characters like hug or something. And I feel like the um, uh, movie, uh, the. They did, the, didn't they? No. Uh, I thought the, they did all at you, the end. All you saw was like him maybe carrying him once or uh. twice. And, and then, and then, of course, there was that scene where he was like carrying Sonic in a uh, in the house under a blanket. And oh yeah, was like, yeah. That, that that was cheap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I understood that because he had to keep him hidden. Sure, yeah. Um, I I mean, the, I didn't have a problem with that. I mean, I like the, the arc of which again is something you see a lot in a movie like this. The arc of the movie is yeah. them becoming friends by yeah. the end of it, but. Maybe it was that I thought Ben Schwartz did such a good job. I liked the character design. I thought they played off each other well. Yeah. Um, and it, it, I liked the movie better than Hop, which also was <laughs> with James Marsden going cross country with a, with an animated character. Um, but I mean, there was. But here's where, kind of in the same ballpark of what you're talking about, or I start where it started losing me a little was uh there's a part where they're in um a uh that country western bar mm. that tavern yeah and there, there's fun stuff in there i mean they do the thing from like that quicksilver does in the x-men movies where it time stops oh, and yeah, the yeah, character yeah, yeah. is going through there and on the one hand it's like i've seen this before a few times on the other it's like but it's sonic the hedgehog right. it's inevitable exactly. a scene like this is going to exactly. be in the movie and it was done well where it was kind of losing me a little in that scene is that they just kind of put a cowboy hat and sunglasses on him and the bartender's like oh who's your young friend like, <laughs> right. you've already established that people are freaking out because of what this character looks like even <laughs> dr robotnik is and he's crazy enough right. as it is and he's <laughs> screaming and passing out and but really you just got to put a hat on him and they think he's a small <laughs> child the cgi character sitting there like it was it was inconsistent with <laughs> how the character was kind of blending into certain situations yeah and there is a fart joke that didn't need to be in this damn movie true like the movie true. the movie was doing such a good job of not being that i mean it's just once in the movie but yeah. i was like you really didn't need to do that <laughs> <laughs> um but i liked that what i liked about sonic's character in this is that he has been living on earth mm -hmm. for 10 years mm -hmm. and has kind of gone insane yeah like yeah he's like speed talking and everything but he's just been isolated and is driven crazy due to loneliness like yeah. he's his own therapist in one scene yeah, yeah. and when he's playing baseball with himself he has this like mental it gets deep yeah he has this like mental breakdown due to his loneliness that causes yeah. this big power surge which kind of sets everything into motion yeah. i was watching that and going how is this movie like a hundred times deeper than that stupid movie Passengers that came out that kind of was doing the same thing with Chris Pratt stranded alone in space with everyone in a coma. You don't remember that movie? Oh, it sucked. <laughs> the one with him and Jennifer Lawrence where I... it was in outer space. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Passengers. Now I know the one. Uh, um, 
Okay, so I hadn't seen it, but I do remember the good. I do remember the the uh, trailer now. Yeah, because it was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It actually came out right at about the time uh, 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 Guardians Two came out. I thought I think Passengers came out like around the holidays. Was it? I want to uh, say that was like a November December release or something. Which was Guardians Two? I thought Guardians Two was a summer movie. Oh, I might well. be wrong. I don't know. All these movies can blend together. Yeah, right. I'll probably remember that this came out on Valentine's Day because that's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> and like also like they try working around the fact that like Sonic can really go from because they got to get to San Francisco because that's where Sonic's rings are. Yeah. And they do try working around that he's in a car with James Marston when he could just run there. Yeah, yeah, a split yeah. Second. Yeah. And they say it's because, like, well, he doesn't know the directions there yeah, yeah. or something. Like, because James Marston says, go west. And then he does and runs into the Pacific Ocean and comes back. <laughs> and then back. runs back. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, well, points for trying, but like, <laughs> you could just give him directions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, and I'm with you. I'm glad that they at least tried that because, yeah, it was, it was kind of a burning question. Like, well, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Just, why does no, it need needs to be a road movie. <laughs> why does he need to be in a car? <laughs> yeah. This isn't Sonic R. God damn it. <laughs> I did like, I did like the whole, um, uh, Fast and the Furious reference. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> There's a couple of good references in it. That was a good line. Jim Carrey's got some good lines. Jim oh Carrey, God. just his physical comedy alone in yeah. sequences where he's in that truck. I mean, like I said, it's a movie that is geared towards nostalgia all over the place. Uh, but him, he, he is definitely having a good time being yeah. this kind of classic Jim Carrey Agreed. type character. I mean, I wouldn't put it up there with his best, his best movies. <laughs> but again, I must, I haven't seen this one, but I'm assuming better than Mr. Popper's Penguins, <laughs> which is maybe the last one that you reviewed. <laughs> Shit. I forgot all about that. Movie. <laughs> Laura and I reviewed, uh, that <laughs> k killer movie he did, uh, dark crimes. Oh, it's 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 bad. Oh, uh, is it? Aww. Yeah, he's he's good. Okay, um, well, good. He, he was, but the the movie itself was it was that was a slog to get through. Um, oh man, you just you just reminded me of Popper's Penguins, Brad. How could you? <laughs> <laughs> how could you? <laughs> so I take it this is a better movie than uh yeah, <laughs> yeah than Mister Popper's Penguins that kind of had the same plot of Smurfs. <laughs> Sort of. If you break it down, it's kind of the same movie. <laughs> Do you recommend this? At Absolutely. All? Yeah. yeah. Let me get yeah. to. Uh, we had some super chat because we had some super chats last week, and if there's ever any that we uh, that we miss. Um, Tune in when, next time. Yeah, we we make it up next time because they do they do save in the archives. Yeah. So uh, um, I did manage to uh, write some down earlier so I could read them here. We got one from Ryan Rogers last week during the Birds of Prey episode. Ryan Rogers said uh, the movie is MacGruber with women. I don't agree with that. There was no MacGyver equivalent <laughs> in it. I don't remember them building things and like it accidentally blows up. MacGruber. Remember, it's a Saturday Night Live sketch with Will Forte where it was a MacGyver parody oh. where he kept blowing shit up. There was mm. a movie based off of it. I think it was like the last Saturday Night Live movie. Mm. Um, Meow Nyan said Black Mask equals coked up criminal Bruce Wayne. <laughs> sure. <laughs> like Frisky Dingo. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Dusty Gonzalez says... Is there's a weird part of me that wanted Bur to wanted to see what Todd Phillips's version of Birds of Prey would be, Todd Phil J Joker. Um, oh, okay. Here I was for some reason I was thinking Todd McFarlane. Oh, Spawn. That might be interesting. Yeah. Too. I would love it if it were Todd Phil Phillips. Because if it were to, what I would love to see if that movie were Todd Phillips is if it's the same exact movie, same movie, nothing different about it. 
at all. Just switch out the director's name. It says Todd Phillips. How some people would then, who currently love the movie, would then come up with ways for why they hate it. <laughs> it's, it's bad now. <laughs> no, I, we, I, I, I liked Birds of Prey. Oh, uh, that, that, that movie was a lot of fun. Um, no, I, uh, did you hear apparently they're uh, changing the title of it, I guess? Birds of Prey? Yeah, to like Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey. It's already switched in there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't notice. Yeah. Oh. Um. <laughs> I think, I think that's actually the name of the comic that they've got out for it now. I mean, Birds of Prey is the name of a comic. Right. But I mean, honestly, though the movie was more of a Harley Quinn movie than right, a Birds of Prey yeah, movie. Yeah. It probably should have been called that anyway. Right, right, right. <laughs> so we actually got a couple movies uh, tonight. We had Sonic the Hedgehog, and uh, we're seeing Downhill at 8.30. So any final thoughts about Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh, um, I don't think so. Are we going to do the uh, Super Chat next week? I, I, I should be able to look it up because it sometimes it stays on there and sometimes okay. it goes away and I don't like breaking up the conversation. I got you. Unless there's like a break in the conversation. Um, so if it doesn't pop back up later, I'll be able to... Uh, I'll, I'll be able to look it up next time. It, it, it'd be no worries. Like one way or the other, they, they end up getting read. Like tonight? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I should be able to look it up on my phone. Yeah. So... Uh, Check back in with us. Uh, we should be back around 1030 Central Time to be reviewing down... I almost said downfall. Downhill. The Will Ferrell, Julia Louis drive. 1130 movie. Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> for our Eastern friends out Eastern there. Eastern friends. All right. Take it easy, everyone. Thanks for watching.